Welcome to Electron Online, and now on to part two of this interesting problem. The same problem again, where we had a charge negative Q at the origin, we had a second charge two meters away on the x-axis, that charge is positive Q over the square root of three. We end up in an equipotential circle, and in the previous video we found the radius of that circle. Now we're supposed to find the center of that circle. Where is C located on that axis? Hmm. Well, let's see here. How do we figure that out? Well, we know that this is 2 meters. This is A. A is known to be 2 over the square root of 3 plus 1. And then this is the radius. So if we take 2 minus A, we get this. If we add the radius to it, we get the distance to C. So essentially, we can say that C is equal to 2 minus A plus R. Again, if this is 2 meters, we subtract A from it, we get this distance. If we then subtract, then we add the radius to it, we get the distance from here to the center of the circle. All right, so then what we do is we plug in what we have. So we have C is equal to 2 minus A. A is 2 divided by the square root of 3 plus 1. And then we have to add that to the square root of 3. And we don't have a calculator. That's the challenge of these tests. No calculators allowed. So what we can do is we can try to figure out what this is equal to. So we end up with the square root of 3 plus 1. And that goes in the denominator. So we divide 2 by d square root of 3 plus 1. That would be 2.732. So how many times does this go into 2? Well, let's see here. We need 0 point, And now we need a few more decimal places like this. And we can say that 2732 goes into 20,000 about seven times. Let's try. Seven times two, that's four. One, seven times three, that's 21, that's 23. Seven times, that's 49, plus three is 52. Seven times, that's 14, plus five is 19. Yep, it goes in there, so that would be six, six, seven, and that's it. Okay, now, add a zero. This goes into here, let's see, three times? Not quite three times, two times. So two times, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times seven is four, one. That would be five, subtract, we get six, we get nine, we get one, we get one. Okay, add another zero. Okay, this goes into here about five times. About five, let's see. 7, 3, 2, about 5. I guess about 5. All right, let's try that. So 5 times, that would be 0, 1. Uh, that would be 15, that's 6, 1. That's 35, that's 6, 3, 10. Oh, way too much. Why did I think it was going to be 5? That's too much. 5 doesn't work. All right. Boy, calculators sure are a lot easier here. Four times, I should have guessed four. All right, four times, that would be eight. Four times three, that's two, one. That's uh, 28, that's 29. Two, eight, 10. So we have uh, two, that's three. Uh, that's zero, that's one. And I think that's good enough. So that would be probably another almost four, not quite. So that means that C is equal to two minus two divided by that. That gives me 0 0.724 plus the square root of 3, which is 1.732. And let's see what we get. So that would be equal to 2 minus this. That would be 1.276 plus 1.732. Okay, 1.732. That would be 8, that would be 0 0.1, that would be 0, that would be 3. Close enough. Let's call it 3.00 meters. Uh, maybe 3.01 meters. I don't know if they're that forgiving, but I would say that if we put down 3.00 meters, that we're probably very close to the true answer. So either 3.01 or 3.00, it's an approximate answer. So I'd say that's close enough. I would go for 3.00 meters. So at this point, it's just two things. 
we have to somehow figure out how to calculate C, which is simply 2 meters minus A plus R. And then we end up with this. We plug in the values that we got on the previous video. And uh, then it's just arithmetic. And at that point, since we don't have a calculator, hopefully we didn't make any mistakes. So that is how it's done.